Hi guys, it's Rachel and I'm here with my younger sister Kirsten. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to do the Australian tag because I thought it would be fun to do it and it was requested that I do this tag by Forever Steeler 6. So thank you for requesting that I do the tag. And we're just going to jump straight into the questions. They're all surrounding being Australian, I guess, which is what we are. So I thought it would be fun to do a tag specifically for Australians because a lot of the tags that I generally do are usually started by Americans. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to start with the first question, which is which state do you live in? So obviously we live in the same state, which is New South Wales, which is on the east coast of Australia. For those of you who um, maybe aren't from the country and don't really know where that is. Um, second question is, which states have you visited around Australia? Uh, only Queensland and Victoria. Yeah, I'm the same. I'd really like Sad. to go to Tasmania. I would have gone to Tasmania with work, but I fortunately had uni at the time and... I've been to Melbourne a couple of times, so Victoria, and I haven't been to Queensland since primary school. You've been more recently mm. than that, but um, I would like to go to South Australia and Western Australia, Northern Territory and all that everywhere, um, eventually at some point, but yes, not that well travelled in terms of being in Australia, at least at the moment. Question number three is, what do you order at Boost Juice? Oh, the Tropical Crush, crush or Watermelon Crush. Yeah, I'm the same. I either order Tropical Crush, Watermelon Crush, or Berry Crush. At Christmas time, my favourite was the Jingle mm. Berry Crush, but they didn't do that this year. This year it was like, I can't even remember. If you watched my Vlogmas videos, I think I actually did. Um, it it was something insane. very, it wasn't, didn't have um, guava juice in it, which was a shame, but it was really nice and I still liked it. So I usually like the Christmas boost they bring out, which actually won't be that far away considering it's already almost the end of July. But um, yeah, usually the crush is not so much the like milky yeah. kind of. I don't drink. mind the banana milky one, whatever that is. It's like a, a energy or protein or something. Okay. Right. Yeah, I tend to be more of a, the fruit juice kind of ones. Question number four is choose one, Supre, Valley Girl or Cotton On? Oh, Valley Girl or Cotton On, maybe Cotton On. Cap yeah. Cotton On, Valley Girl and Supre. In so, that order. Yeah, I think it's, I'm definitely Supre at the end. We actually don't have a Valley Girl in our local shopping centre anymore. We, we have to. a Tempt. Um, so I'm almost tempted to say cotton on first purely because we do have a cotton on, but I think in terms of variety of clothes, I'd probably pick Valley Girl first because mm. the quality of the clothes is getting a bit better. So maybe Valley Girl, cotton on, then tempt for me. Yeah. And then, um, choose one, sports girl or dotty. Oh, that's hard. I like both of them, but more recently I've probably spent money at dotty. But then I do have a lot of stuff from Sports Girl. Yeah, I, I think they're very similar. It's just I think I probably price. end up buying more clothes from Dotty. But like I always go into Sports I go Sports yeah, Girl. I always go into Sports Girl and I love buying. I've got my favorite yellow Sports Girl bag. I've bought a lot of bags mm -hmm. from Sports Girl. My phone Jewelry. cover and my sunglasses. Yeah, are I from buy Sports a Girl. lot of other. I go into Sports Girl more, but I think in terms of actually buying clothes, I probably buy more clothes from Dotty for mm. some reason. I think a Sports Girl is very fashion forward and if you don't really want something that's really on trend yeah sport dotty's still the same but it's a little bit pared back almost yeah. i guess you'd call it mm -hmm. um question number i think this is six because they're not numbered who is your favorite australian actor or actress you go i think i actually don't know it's kind of um i like asha Ketty at the moment because i yeah. really like uh what's it called um, offspring oh. But um, I guess in terms of big ones like Naomi Watts or somebody like that. Oh, um, who is oh, Rachel Taylor? Yeah. I think I'd pick Rachel Taylor because she spells Rachel the same way that I spell Rachel, and I like her. For those of you who don't know, Rachel Taylor was in the is it the third tran first Transformers no, first movie? Transformers. She was in the first. Actually, Isabel Lucas is another Australian um, model slash Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's easy. Chris and Liam Hemsworth. We probably. I see. I'm, I'm, yeah, I know, but I'm automatically thinking of girls. Whereas, yeah, yeah there's so many guys. Chris and Liam Hemsworth. But you said but, Isabel yeah. Lucas, so that made me think of Chris Hemsworth. Oh, okay. Because yeah, they were both on Home and Away. So it is kind of hard, but there are some Aussies out there that you kind of do. Hugh probably Jackman's think, pretty. Yeah. Um, or like the new one, the younger ones that are in like um, what's her name, Claire Holt, and she's in Vampire Diaries, and she was in H Two O. I think that's her name. Oh, and she's in no, she's in Secret Circle. 
No, that's Phoebe Tonkin or something. Okay, well like she's that. Australian. I'm probably saying as well. her name's wrong. Yeah. But okay, there's there's a lot of Aussies out yeah. there. We're we're happy to support any Australian actor or actress she's that's got actually like doing a, something a in Pommy accent on Vampire Diaries, but she's the Australian girl. English accent, if for those English who don't realise who what Pommy means. Um Oh she's Australian. She's a, she was on H two O with the other girl from H2. Secret Circle. H just oh, out of water. water. One, yeah. the red one. Huh. I did not know that. <laughs> when I was younger and I used to watch that. <laughs> yeah, you still watch it. I don't it watch now. that now though. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, any Australian that's out that's doing um the guy who's from that the what's the T V show that it's a remake, Hawaii Five O. Uh Alex no. Alex yeah, Alex something else. The main guy in um Hawaii the new version is Australian mm -hmm. also, and I like him There's too. A lot of them out there. Uh, even though we didn't really pick a favourite in all of that. Mm -hmm. question, the next question is, describe your formal night in high school. So I guess, I think that means like, as Australian, I guess formal is like the American version of prom. We have one in the 10th grade and then also in the 12th grade. Not everyone gets one in the 10th grade, no. but we do. For me, we did. We, we did. We haven't been for a while. Um, for me, the tenth grade one, you kind of dress up. It gets just like formal or prom or any other, like a dance. And you went. We went on a cruise on the harbour. So we, Same. you went to the river. We took a whole heap of photos. We went into the city and then went on a harbour cruise. And then you had like an after party at somebody's house where everyone's invited. And then for the twelfth grade, it was the same for me. We went to a. Um, it was more like a ballroom kind of thing, and you did the same thing, you got dressed up. Um, 12th grade, you could take dates from outside of school. We couldn't. Couldn't we? You probably could. Yeah, I think we could. For, us. for the 10th grade, we you weren't, it was only school people only, and yeah, that's pretty much it, what I can tell about it. I think they're fairly similar to a dance or a um, formal or anywhere. whatever, anywhere. Question... I don't know which number it is because they really aren't numbered, but do you like Vegemite or or how do you eat it? I don't, this is very un-Australian of me, I know, but I do not actually eat Vegemite. <laughs> I could have the tiniest bit with lots of butter on toast if I have to, like to be polite if someone offered me it or that's all they had <laughs> at their house, but I'm more peanut butter. I admit that I do like Vegemite. It's not I'm not one of these people that can like eat it with a spoon, which is why I always get really frustrated when they get like American celebrities on Australian TV and, and they say give them a spoon. Yeah, try Vegemite and give them a spoon. I'm like, there are very, very few Australians who we would eat, eat it, it that way. Let alone giving it to somebody who's never tasted, especially yeah. when they don't warn them they to. They need to put it on toast. You need to have it on toast. With a lot of butter and just a smidgen of Vegemite. That's well, how like I eat it. eat it with cheese. Mum eats yeah. it with cheese. Vegemite and cheese, I actually don't mind. It's kind of a tiger the, toast. The, <laughs> the other thing that, that you've got to remember is that it looks... People think, especially if you have never seen it before, that it's dark. So they think of Nutella. So they're expecting, like, sweet. We have Nutella in Australia, too. It Nothing not, like it's it. It's not chocolate. It's not Nothing chocolate. chocolate so I it. always get really frustrated when they it's don't like, warm. What is it? Vegetable something. It's um yeast. It's like yeast. a yeast. It, it, basically, it's salty tasting. So it's totally opposite of Nutella. So if you're ever in Australia and you're not Australian, you've never tried Vegemite before. Try it. Try it on toast. Lots of butter. Do not think it's Nutella or it's going to be sweet because it's total opposite. It's savory and salty. Okay. So the next question is: Have you ever seen or petted a kangaroo? Yes. Yes. Both. Both. Yeah. I have petted a kangaroo and I've seen one in the wild and I've fed one and I've held like a baby joey thing in like a black like towel um, and all of it. I haven't, I've like patted or petted whatever you want to, whatever the correct terminology is, um, at like a wildlife park, at Featherdale Wildlife Park and maybe at Crumbin Sanctuary in um, Queensland. I don't know. I know. I remember birds, I don't remember kangaroos but I have done one in a um, like in a controlled environment. I've never sort of like gone up and tried to pat one in the wild or anything like that. I don't think that that's necessarily the smartest thing to do um, if you ever just see a kangaroo wandering An around. An injured kangaroo from the wild I've had pet petted, but it's because oh, really? they've caught it because it was injured. Oh, see, I haven't. I haven't seen them. I've seen them like behind a fence, like on roaming around kind of inland, but mm. it's not. they don't sort of roam around our streets or anything like that. There may be some places like in the bush. I've um, seen them like when I've been driving along the road, like out towards in like bush area. Bush area, not yeah. Like you don't. They don't sort suburban. of suburban. Yeah, we live in suburbia, and they're not suburban. generally. Yeah, they're not generally just walking around. But I have seen and had 
um, petted a kangaroo, in but not in rural areas. In rural areas, not there you in go. Urban areas, um, but not recently. Not recently. Um, moving on, the second to last question, or last few of the questions, sorry, is: um, Have you ever seen in the harbour, Sydney Harbour Bridge? Yes. Yes. I see it every day because I work in the city, and I actually work in Circular Quay, and you can see the Harbour Bridge from the window. Um, near my desk, so and we yes. are going to climb it eventually. Yeah, we, we should we have did. already. Everyone else we, has. Yeah, we haven't done it. We, it was a Christmas gift from our parents. Actually, Mum said that she'd get us. That and was one of the things, and we just us. haven't gone and done <laughs> it yet. But we will at some point. But yes, I have seen, been on, touched the Harbour Bridge. Yeah, <laughs> um, driven over it. The last couple of questions. Do you say mate? Yes, but when I'm being like a smart ass. To someone, I say mate. Smart Alec. Smart Alec. <laughs> We're trying to keep like, this sorry, um, smart PG. Alec. Like, I'll go, oh, yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't say it in the way, like, I use the word mate, but I don't say, oh, thanks, mate, or anything no. like that. I'm oh, not. G'day, mate. No. The next question was, do you say g'day? No. No. I never, never say g'day, no. except for actually, when I'm disputing the fact that people say Australian actually, say g'day. I just got back from Thailand, and every, like, person, like, in the markets that you'd walk past would be like, how are ya? How you going, mate? So I'd go back, g'day, mate. Like, I'd play yeah. it up. But I don't say that. I was yeah. just playing up, because they were playing I'm not going to say that there aren't Australians who do use g'day, because they, there are. But as a general rule, if you just, just come to Australia and just meet... I don't think ninety percent of Australians there aren't going to go. G'day. I think maybe g'day. older, older like generations. Or you say and mate. May, or... Um, like mate, more males might say g'day too. But no. yeah, boys say mate. G'day, g'day, mate. Sorry, just had to do that for all you non-Australians out there who enjoy that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone enjoys that. <laughs> I know. Um, flip flops or wedges. We actually call flip flops thongs. thongs in Australia, which is kind of odd given that this is an Australian tag, but for those of you out there, if you ever hear Australians talking about thongs, some people say flip-flops. We're not talking about the underwear. Yeah, I'll, I'll use flip-flops as well because they do kind of flip-flop. I think in Queensland they um, use flip-flops. I don't know. No, I don't think... It, it. Generally, we say thongs, but I'll often call them flip-flops because I'm used to talking to other people who wouldn't know what mm. thongs are. Um, or wedges. So flip-flops or wedges. Thongs. Flip-flops, sorry. Yeah, I think I'm the same. I like wedges and I like being girly, but in terms of in summertime, it's thongs. thongs. You're always going to wear flip flops more. Um, jumper or sweater? Aren't they the same thing, a jumper or a sweater? Yeah, well, I would call this what I'm wearing more of a sweater and then like a jumper more of a hoodie. Oh, I don't um, really get this question then. myself much either. Like, I love just being able to snuggle up in a hoodie, which we would call if you a, jumper. Home, a jumper, but um, then in terms of, like going out and dressing to see people in public or be on videos, then I'd probably say a sweater also. And then the last question is overall, what do you think of Australia? Love it. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. love it. I think it. it's a pretty good place to live. I think we are pretty lucky. Lucky. More than pretty lucky. Um, yeah, after seeing some of the stuff on the news, like, I would love to go live in America if I was going to pick somewhere else to live. I think I'd love to go live in the States for a while. I'd pick Canada. Well, Canada would be nice too. Anyway, maybe somewhere in North America, but I think I would still end up missing Australia. You, you There's a lot of things about here. It's, if people, I guess, in terms of the way we perceive ourselves and the way I think of other Australians, is we are very laid back. Um, while, like, they're still... I know a lot of people think there's a lot of like dangerous animals and bugs and things I've heard. Um, some people from the UK actually say, how do you go to Australia? It's so like deadly. <laughs> and it just makes me laugh because it's really not like that. Like, yes, we have like venomous spiders and venomous snakes, snakes and things, but I've never seen a snake like... It's like we've got a crocodile in our pool. No, it's not, like it's not or like that. You go don't... to the beach and not get eaten by, by a great wire. Yeah, like you don't... I don't, I don't recommend go surfing in Western Australia because there's been a lot of shark attacks lately, but there are... You can go swimming and... Um, it, like yeah. anywhere you go, anywhere you go, they're going to be things. I happen. don't think if if you want to visit Australia and and you've heard some stereotypes and things about Australia, I wouldn't be worried about it because, as you can see, we're fairly normal and we're fine and we managed to survive fairly living normal. here. So, I'm fairly normal. I don't know about her. 
Um, anyway, so that is it. That is all of the questions. I will love to tag all of you Australians out there to do this tag, or you can just answer the questions in the comments below. I'll list all the comments and um, any other information you need in the info box. And I think that's basically it from us. Thank you for watching this tag. Thanks. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.